hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to show you how to use a um, global mapper for georeferencing right good so now let's um, open the data files good so we are working on a folder called um, georeference and this is the image that we want to what georeference we open that up now we are going to manually rectify the image because that's like the word for your reference in a global map right good so let's um click on okay this is the tip on how to what how to rectify the image so let's click on okay good so we have the entire image we have the zoom view and then we have what a reference image so if you have another g reference image you it will maybe you would likely want to place it there and then use it for the g reference and instead of what using coordinates that's more like a um, screen to screen or g reference right good so if you want to zoom to a particular point you can just click on the point on the entire image you know and then it will get what zoomed into the point because since we are using the edges that's why i'm focusing on what the edges right good so with this you can easily zoom into the edges so now let's click on this first point since um i'll prefer to start with this first point and then you know we are referencing this image with what the geographic coordinate right good so now when you come down to the gcp's projection that's the um, the ground control point projection you are going to see where you can select what the projection so if you are not using a geographic projection and maybe you're using a, um, a projected them um, coordinate reference system just select projection and then under the projection you are going to select which of them you are using right good so when you click on this drop down you will see different other projections let's say if you're not using the geographic and then you're using utm when you select utm you would have the opportunity to now um, identify the zones and then that to me still wgs 1984 if you're using any other one you can still change them right good so these are some of the ways you can modify what the projection so since we are using the geographic let's um, click on geographic latitude slash um, longitude since it doesn't have so that's why you see that um, this point is what not activated then the datum is um, wgs84 the unit system act decrease and the rest of that so you just click on what okay now when we click on one of the points which is let's say this edge we are now going to provide what the coordinates of that edge now this is the pixel x and y that's the x and y of the image however that's not the reference coordinate right good so we need to rectify it or we need to reference it so the longitude at that point is about three degrees um zero zero minutes zero zero seconds right good that's um the same um, longitude that's the easting then the latitude which is the nothings is about what eight degrees zero zero minutes zero zero seconds right good so when we've done that we just click on add points to list now it automatically identifies it as um, point one if you have another name for it you can modify it if you don't you just want them um, maintain this uh, name that um, is provided by what global mapper so let's just maintain it at um, point one right good so we click on ok now you can see point one has been added we can decide to maybe zoom into this edge and then also provide what the gcp is for this point so we just click on this edge and then we come up here now the easting is what that's the longitude it's actually four degrees 30 minutes so you use space for the for the units either degree minutes and seconds right good so we still have um, eight degrees there so we can just leave that as that then we click on add them um, to list add point to list that's um, point two we move down to this um, next edge good yeah so let's um, leave it at this intersection right good so at this intersection our longitude is what four degrees 30 minutes and then the latitude is what seven degrees right good so we have what seven degrees zero 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 so we add that to what at the point to list we click on ok and then we move to the last point we want to use for georeferencing on today's video so we click on this um, other okay let me zoom in a bit we click on this other edge and then we provide what so for the 
longitude we have um, 3 degrees 0, 0 minutes 0, 0 seconds and then for the latitude we still have what 7 degrees right good so we just click on add point to list point 4 and that's okay so these are the four points we want to use to rectify manually to manually rectify this what um, topo map sheet right good so now the next thing i haven't done all of that is to click on apply right good so let's click on apply and then we now click on OK. Now there is a tip. So that is if you see that maybe the coordinates you have used for your rectification or your georeferencing is in error, or maybe you want to make some modifications, that's what you can do. So we click on OK. Good. So we have what the georeferenced um, image there. Yeah. So if you look um, closely, as you over your mouse around the map, um, the map, you can see the coordinates. You can see what the the projection that same um, WGS sixty four. You can see the coordinates of um, the points. They are now in line with what the coordinates that we have on what on our map, right? But so this confirms that it has been referenced. Now you can still move this out of um, Global Mapper to any other GIS package. Perhaps if you are uh, Maybe if you want to proceed with whatever you're trying to do, you can still move it out. Or maybe if you want to send to someone, you can still move it out and it will still contain what the, the special information that you have just attached to it. That's the rectification information, right? Good. So we come down to files, then we come down to export. So we see export image slash export raster slash image format. Now, what's the format we want to use? Okay, let's use GeoTIFF. That was the last format I used. So, we can use what um, GeoTIFF. And then we click on OK. There's a tip here. So, what it's saying is that by the time you export this image out, this data out, it will have what the WGS 1984 as the projection. So, we click on OK. By default, we are going to leave all the settings as this and then we move on. So let's call this um, GeoRef or let's call this Rectified since we are using um, Rectify. Good. So let's call this Rectified. And then you can see GeoTIFF, right? Good. So you click on Save. That's progress. Good. So it has been exported successfully for us to confirm if maybe the image we have to referenced is actually correct. We can decide to take this out, maybe bring in the former one. That's the first term, um, um, the first image that was not um, to referenced. And then later maybe bring this other image that is to reference. So yeah, thanks for coming to class. And we open we've provided solution to your, to this particular solving problem. If you have um, any issue like this, you can always um, contact us and then we'll um, get back to you as soon as possible. So you now see, because of the rectification, it came back to this window, right? Good. So let's close this up. And then let's say if we now want to bring in the image that was rectified, we click on rectified, open. You now see that it autom automatically falls into what the workspace, right? Good. So you can see that um, the coordinates are actually fixed, unlike the first one that does not have what, any um, special reference system, right? Good. So we are going to see you on our next video. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.